on Technoman. We're trapped in camp plan number six. That chemical plant is in the space ring. There are still survivors there. Hold on, guys. We're going to blast our way in. <laughs> Gunner. Oh, no. It was a trap. There weren't really any survivors. It's Gunner. Gunner plans to disable Slade's crystal, thus preventing him from being able to transform into Technoman. I've planted spectrum disruptor crystals all around us, which will render your emerald techno crystal quite useless. I gotta transform! It's the crystal! It's damaged! Without it, I can't transform into techno man. At the end of the 21st century, the Earth was invaded by a horde of mutant spider crabs under the control of a venomoid warlord, Darkon. When I descend upon the Earth, darkness will unfurl its banner across yet another region of the cosmos. Even the heroic men and women of the Space Knights cannot defend the Earth without the help of a mysterious young man named Slade, who has the ability to transform into the superhero known as Technoman. Continuing saga of Techno Man. Sensing the opportunity for quick and total victory, the Venomoid warlord Darkon gathers his army of ruthless spider crabs and sends them plunging toward the helpless planet below. Incoming! Incoming! They're everywhere! <laughs> Those pop guns don't have a chance of stopping those things. The South and North Pacific fleets both report they're under attack and have heavy damages. The Far Eastern Command's been knocked out. The enemy's made landings and secured positions in almost every sector. Looks like this is the big one. Nothing we can do is stopping them. All our reserves are being pushed to the limit. The bottom of the ninth inning and we're sitting on the bench. It's no mystery why they picked this moment to strike when the cat's away, the mice will play. I sure hate to admit it, but we could sure use Slade's help right about now. Commander, I hold you responsible for the loss of the Technoman. It wouldn't have happened if you'd turned him over to me. I do accept the responsibility, but may I remind you that I am answerable only to civilian authority, not to you gentlemen of the military. Really? I wouldn't be so sure of that if I Sit were down. you. It's still not too late. Give him to us, and we still might be able to salvage him. My crew is quite capable of salvaging the Technoman. The Space Knights have a tradition of solving our own problems. Whatever we begin, we finish, gentlemen. Now, if you'll excuse me. Good morning, Commander. Good morning, Tina. How's work progressing on the Technobot? Well, sir, to be honest, Mac and Maggie have their hands full. It's a pretty tall order. It is indeed. Tell them to keep at it. We're under the gun on this one. I've managed to fuse the pieces of the emerald crystal back into a close approximation of its original structure. Now this schematic ought to show us what position Slade and the crystal should take in relation to each other in order to accomplish the transformation process. There you go. The computers designed the Technobot interlock chamber. Now the only thing left for you to do is go and build it. Finally, it's about time I got to have some fun around here. You're forgetting something. Oh, what's that? How can you build it without the plans? Oh, yeah, you've got a point there. Take it away! You've got to eat something. I'm not hungry. There's more to it than that. What's wrong, Slade? Just leave me alone. Ah, gee, poor Mr. Superhero. What's the matter, lost your appetite? I've always said this kid never had the stomach for a real fight. What are you talking about, Ringo? You don't get it, do you? If I can't transform into Techno Man, I'm useless. Listen to him. He gets beaten one time and he's ready to pack it in. Get this through your head. They've taken away the only weapon I can use to fight them. Just imagine how you'd feel if it was the Blue Earth that had been destroyed. Hold on, mister. 
I won't let you just walk away. Oh, yeah? And just how are you gonna stop me? Hey! That does it! You're coming with me! Hmm. Take a look around, Slade. Have you any idea what all these people are doing? They've been working round the clock with no sleep. You know why? I'll give you one guess. Why not just tell me and save us both some time? Hmm? Hey, that's my crystal. By redirecting the crystal's polarity, we should get a reaction that no are Not again! No Rats! They're trying to find a way to help you turn into Technoman again. They're not giving up, even if you have. They know the battle's not over yet. You, Slade! Stay right there, I'm on my way! I'm touched, but they're probably wasting their time. Hi, Slade. Glad you're here. Oh, and you two, Star. How's it going, Maggie? Fine, fine. Of course, we fit a few snags here and there. You're dealing with complex Venomoid science. No offense, guys, but it's something you don't learn overnight. Thank you, Mr. Wizard. We're not in the Stone Age, you know. This is what we do for a living. How close do you think you are to a breakthrough? Well, we haven't found the equation that will artificially induce the Technopod transformation process, but we're almost there. I'm sure of it. I wish I could be so sure, Maggie. You haven't much time. You should be concentrating on something that might work. Give her a chance, will you, pal? Don't be so quick to count Maggie out. If anyone can decipher this alien gobbledygook, she can. The Technobot's the only chance we've got. Hang on, everyone. Here we go again. A few pieces of the crystal were lost, so I made synthetic fragments to take their place. Now here's where we find out if they'll hold. So far, so good. The synthetics are holding. Now here's the part where we've had some problems. The computer says this formula should redirect the crystal's polarity and start the transformation process. Okay, keep your fingers crossed, everyone. If the computer's right, this should work. Danger. Oh, Danger. not again. Program Every time error. the same Program thing. Error. Program error. Oh, nothing works. Don't blame yourself. Even when these numbers add up, they don't add up. It's not your fault these stupid aliens figure that two plus two equals five. Listen, we mustn't get discouraged. Don't give up now. It will work, Slade, I promise you. And you'll don your armor like some handsome knight of old defending the honor of his lady love. Please, Maggie, have a little self-respect. We'll make it work. Mac, Maggie, keep working. The rest of you report to COM-1. Stand. From the space ring orbiting high above the Earth, the invader resumes his attack but now with new and deadly accuracy. I've got reports of precision air-to-surface strikes all across the map. I'm trying to determine if there's a pattern. <gasps> Sir, someone's jamming my signal. Forgive this interruption of your communications, huh? but I have an ultimatum for the people of Earth. It's coming from the space ring. Gunner. As you must know by now, you are helpless. But our warlord Darkon is merciful and he offers you one last chance of survival. Hand over to us the Technoman known as Slade and we will suspend the attack. He is a traitor and a renegade. Have him brought to the space ring by 1200 hours Earth time or we'll renew our attack on your primary population centers. This Technoman is of no use to you now. You must give him up. Then we will spare your cities. Maybe it's just a bluff, huh? You don't have to bluff when you're the one holding all the cards. This guy's for real. We await your response. Sorry, buddy, but your signal's getting kind of weak. Transmit again. One Technoman in exchange for the survival of your species. You have until 1,200 hours to decide. While the Space Knights consider his ultimatum, Gunner waits patiently like a spider in his web, waiting for a fly. He will come, there's no doubt of that. All the powers of heaven and earth won't stop him from coming, and when he does, I will be waiting. How's a guy supposed to get any work done around here? I'm telling you, it's like living in a constant fire drill. What's up? What now? Slade won't listen to reason. He insisted on flying to the space ring on his own. He what? And just how's he planning to get there? The Blue Earth's nowhere near ready to launch. He doesn't need the Blue Earth. Hold on, what are you talking about? 
There's another kind of ship here in the command center? That's news to me. He's found an old decommissioned booster rocket that's been in mothballs for years. It's nothing more than a flying death trap. Slade, this is Commander Jameson. Kill your engines and abort your launch sequence at once. You heard him, Slade. Will you stop trying to prove you're a hero? You're not a Technoman anymore, remember? I know that better than anyone, Ringo. That's why I'm going. Okay, so what's the point? You go up there and get your plug pulled, what then? One broken down ex-Technoman in exchange for millions of lives. It's a pretty good deal. Get serious. You don't really believe these creeps are gonna stop the attack. Well, we know they won't stop if I don't go. Hey, it's worth a shot. No, don't do it, kid. It's nuts! He's right, Slade. Systems go. Gantry doors open. Okay. Let's see what this jalopy can do. So long, guys. It was fun while it lasted. Slade did this. If only I'd been smart enough to finish the Technobot... Maggie, pull thing. yourself together and get back to work. We're not out of this game yet. He's right. The game ain't over until it's over. Yeah, good point. Time to get rid of the excess baggage. One down, one to go. Okay, computer, give me the answer I'm looking for. Here we go. Come on, baby, talk to Mama. Uh-oh, trouble. Big trouble. What's going on here? They're not attacking. They're letting me pass. Why don't I feel any better about this? Okay. Oh, no! There's no logical explanation for this happening. It's not human error. It's almost like a glitch in the computer itself. But that's impossible. Maggie, I found those data disks you wanted. Dina, watch out for those cables. Uh, oh, no, the computer. Wait! The circuit board's rebooting. It's reanalyzing the data. Matt, when's the last time you serviced this thing? Well, I... Look! It's come up with the answer. Tina, you stumbled upon the solution, literally. I did? There's all you need to finish the Technobot. Get cracking, Matt. You got it, lass. Meanwhile, far above, Slade approaches his rendezvous with destiny. Looks like nobody's home. Whoops, no such luck. Greetings, Slade. I knew I could depend on you. Your audacity has always exceeded your intelligence. Yeah, yeah, sticks and stones. I have more of that. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Ah, there you are. What, no clever quip, Slade? Did you lose your sense of humor when you lost your techno powers? You want funny? How about this? A 10 gigawatt thermal fusion bomb. One tap on this trigger and we both end up space dust. As the Blue Earth thunders into action, she carries a payload on which the fate of the Earth may very well depend. Be careful. Mac and I have put our hearts and souls into that Technobot, so none of your reckless flying, Ringo, you cowboy. On the other hand, the clock's ticking, so no dawdling, lad. Go slow, go fast. Will you make up your minds? We're approaching the ring now. Where's your bomb now? You won't detonate it. Not as long as your simple mind tells you you still have a chance of escaping with your life. <laughs> your instinct for survival is impressive, though rather annoying. But then we wouldn't want this to be too easy, would we? You may run, my friend, but you cannot hide. <laughs> Yeah, I see them. They sent these clowns to make sure we don't crash their party. Well, I never met a bouncer I couldn't lick. Oh, yeah! Out of the way, boys! We're coming through! Slade? Ah, still with us.
Yes, I see. Excellent. I so look forward to finishing this face to face. A pity this has to be the last time we meet, but without your techno powers, you frankly aren't much competition. Oh, yes, your little bomb. I'd almost forgotten. Well, then, the only question left is Do you have the courage to detonate it? Anything to shut you up, Gunner. Very well, I'm willing to pay that price. If it means eliminating you. Just a little closer. What? The Blue Earth! Come on, Slate. We got a Technobot up here with your name on it. What? You heard me. So, ready for a test drive? I'm ready. Come back here, you coward! You can't escape! Right. This baby's voice activated, so you gotta make your commands loud and clear. Got it? Well, it sure looks impressive, but do you really think this thing's gonna work? Well, I suppose there's only one way to find out. Good luck out there, Slade. Right. Thanks a lot, Ringo. And the same to you, buddy. Uh-huh. Technobot power on! Affirmative. Open interlock chamber! Here it goes! Interlock chamber to amplify the power of the shattered crystal. Slade is able once again to undergo his amazing metamorphosis. His human body is endowed with impenetrable armor, quantum energy weapons, and superhuman powers, transforming him into the superhero known as Technoman. Release interlock chamber. Gunner, let's play ball. No, it can't be. You're a Technoman again, but how? Your crystal was shattered. Amazing what they can do with shattered crystals nowadays, isn't it? <laughs> Love to stop and play with your crab cakes, but I've got bigger fish to fry. Very well then. Technoman against Technoman. A battle to the finish. You got that right. Doing. You know what time it is, Gunner? No, what time is it? Time to say goodbye. Techno Power Blaster! I'll get you for this! But I've got a feeling the battle has just begun. Slade's concern is justified, for at that very moment, deep below the surface on the dark side of the moon. Gunner has failed me, but he shall be replaced by a more powerful Technoman who shall crush the traitorous Slade like an insect. <laughs> to be continued. Stay tuned. If I only knew the secret of Technoman's power, Balzac. He'll find what we're looking for. And a reporter's been assigned to us. Reporter? What reporter? That's me. Who are you? The name's Balzac. I'm a war correspondent, and I'm here to do a story on you space nights. Hey, Balzac, what do you think you're doing? I'm just taking pictures of your Technobot. Well, what's the mystery? Why are you the only one who can transform? Wow, this guy's amazing. He's a one-man army. 